Shalom. Praise the Lord. I'm happy once again to give a testimony in church. And uh, though I've been dying to give this testimony, in fact, because uh, this past one week, I'm so happy. So I wanted to share and I was wondering when will I get to church? And because of this lockdown, and Jerry has decided to do a Zoom service. So I decided that I will give a short testimony for the, during the service time. So I would just like to say that uh, last week on the, uh, on the 24th, one of my very good friends who pray for me, I have a lot of good friends who pray for me, even the church, because they know my illness and they know how I suffer so much always. So I was very happy when a friend called me suddenly in the morning and said, please tune in to Mohan C. Lazarus, he's speaking live and uh, uh, after the prayers, everything, he will, uh, after the testimonies, prayers, message, he will be praying for the sick and uh, so you lay your hands and uh, for your knee and you pray and God will definitely heal you today, she said. So I said, okay, so I immediately I turned it on and it went on for so many hours because you know they have uh, worship songs prayers they pray so much and uh, tune in to Mohan C. Lazarus ministry so uh, Moses uh, brother Mohan C. Lazarus has been to my house in Bahau he stayed with us and uh, we had been I had been following his ministry for a long time so Mohan C. was not very new to me he is a man of God and he really, with a burden in his heart, he prays for everybody. He works among the poor in India. So when he came to Bahau, he, we, he knows that we were doing ministry among the poor people in the estates. My husband, you, I think many of you all know, lah, being the priest in this, in this church, uh, Bethel Anglican Center, Reverend Canon Dr. Lakshman. So, so brother used to uh, has been there for the ministry and uh, he was sent by my uncle uh, J.S. Devraj because uh, he's my father's younger brother and always he sends and being our Tamil church in Bahau he used to send all the Tamil pastors there to our place for the ministry among the poor and the downtrodden so what happened was this today I was said okay so I said I've been praying for my knee so many months and uh, Lord you have healed me many times you have done a lot of miracles for me so I said when are you going to give me this miracle for my knee because I could when I sit down I cannot get up it's so extremely painful and excruciating pain you cannot bear it and uh, you feel so depressed and helpless you can't even walk you know I had a, to use a stick and my sister sent me a frame, so a walker. So with that, I used to walk around. And uh, I said, Lord, when are you going to heal me? So I said, Lord, since my friend called me today and said specifically that I, might, I will be healed today, believe when he prays for you. So I said, okay. So I was listening all the testimonies. And there were two testimonies on that day, streamed live on 24th of April, that... Uh, really touched me and gave me the hope lord you have done such a miracle for this lady she had no children for 13 years and you blessed her with a beautiful son so i said lord you have heard her prayers and lord you will hear mine also and then the next testimony was about a girl a young girl from delhi when brother mohan si had gone to delhi to preach and uh, there this girl had gone for the meetings and uh, she was healed she had a very bad sickness illness in which her hands had a lot of lesions like the leprosy hands you know a lot of wounds her legs and her feet i mean feet and her uh, fingers and i saw it in the in the testimony her hands which were so bad and she's such a young pretty girl so she had gone in faith and prayed and jesus touched her on the third day and god healed her and i saw the hands which were healed 
so clean and so well. So I said, Lord, you have done such supernatural miracles, Lord. You have done for me too. Many times you have done. So I said, Lord, this time also I'm asking for you, for your healing upon my knee. And praise God, you would not believe it. After I prayed so earnestly and believing in my heart that God, today is the day that God will give me the healing. And I really had faith that he will touch me today. So because, you know, out of the blue, someone just calls you and said, tune in to Brother C. Lazarus, he's speaking right now. So I said, Lord, okay, you will heal me today. I believe and you can touch me. You have done so many miracles. You brought me back to life when I was on my deathbed. So you have to do this for me. I'm really suffering. And you won't believe it. As soon as after the prayer, the service was over, I just got up and there was no pain. And I couldn't believe it first. I said, really, God, you so thank. And I've been thanking him since then. And even in my sleep, I'm saying, Lord, I thank you so much for the healing. I said, Lord, you have been so good to me. You know, I said, you, uh, our faith in you is not in vain. You know, and I said, Lord Jesus, you are a wonderful, compassionate God who hears our prayers when we cry out unto you because you love us so much. You redeemed us, you, curse all, you, you crucified all our sicknesses, all our curses at the cross, and we are set free, free from illness. And because this, uh, we have lived in this world where there is sickness, Lord, and we know that your healing hand is upon us, and that by your stripes we are healed. And we claim the promises that are written in the Bible. And we thank Lord Jesus that you are using mightily Brother Mohan C. Lazarus, that his ministry will grow and we bless him and we pray for his good health and strength, Lord. And I thank Lord Jesus every day that now I don't have pain in my legs when I get up and I can walk. And I've been doing the work well and my daughter-in-law will say, no, don't do, use rest, you take rest. I said, no, I'm well, I, I can walk. So I did some garden work, I did some cooking, I did some cleaning. And my daughter-in-law will keep on saying, no, you take rest, take rest. I said, no, it's okay, because God has healed me. And uh, I said, I will, as long as I can, I will serve the Lord. And I thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity to serve Him all these years, to pray and help people who I need. And I thank the Lord that He has healed me. He's a wonder-working, wonderful God. And we praise Him. That, and please remember, Pray and you can go to him at any time of the day. God will touch you. God looks at the heart. God looks at your motives and intentions. And when we are honest and sincere in our prayers, in our prayer time, and as we pray for others, God heals us. And we praise you and I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.